and thanks for tuning in to another video in our development series featuring the 2022 Kawasaki KLR650. We've saved the best video for last. We're gonna be going over all things auxiliary lighting. So we're gonna show you what we've developed for our light mounting solutions, how to get those installed on the bike, and how to control our auxiliary lights using our latest dial dim smart controller. So we're gonna dive right into the wiring first on this KLR650 and we're gonna show you guys how to install lights on our newest dial dim smart controller. So here's the controller mounted under the seat. Coming off the controller is your two blue leads for your main driving lights, your two green circuit leads for visibility or second driving lights. And then we just have a uh, ring terminals that hook up to the battery and this is our trigger wire cable that will show you how that connects to the bike in just a second and the last lead is just your switch lead and that's routed up to the switch. Right here is the portion of the dial dim harness that connects to the vehicle to provide the trigger inputs for ignition, high beam, left turn, right turn, and horn. And you can see the universal uses posi tabs. But for a vehicle specific install, we went ahead and developed a plug and play harness of that same thing, also connects right to the dial dim, but you can see that we're using pass through connectors for this KLR650 so we can plug directly into the headlight, the right turn signal, the left turn signal, and the horn, all via the factory plug and play harness. So we've routed that plug and play harness under the tank and right up to the front of the bike. And you can see that we've connected it to the turn signals, the headlight in the center there, the horn right over here, and the left turn signal on the opposite side of the bike. We then routed the light extension cables through and you can see that is sitting right here. So we're gonna go ahead and throw the fairings on and then get into light mounting. prepped and the panels back on the bike, we can talk about mounting the lights. And for this KLR650, we are super stoked to have developed two different light mounting options. The one you see here is our upper crash bar light mount. And it's not just the clamp or the adapter, we actually developed and prototyped the bar itself to provide the most rigid mounting point for your lights. And this isn't for show, this is a super durable, almost three millimeter wall thickness steel tube. And that's what we're providing as our upper light mount solution. That's gonna fit all of our lights, including our largest D4s and D7s. I also wanna show you this smaller, more of a fog light mounting bracket that we have right here. This is the second one we've developed and this is gonna mount a set of lights down low. But for this particular setup on this KLR, we're gonna be running a pair of uh, fog lights up high there for maximum conspicuity and visibility. And we're gonna be running our T3s down low. So let's get that all plugged in and we'll show you how it works from the dial dim switch. So here it is, the dial dim switch mounted to the handlebar and you can just see how integrated it looks next to the factory switch gear. We're gonna quickly demonstrate some of the unique features that are only possible with our dialed in controller. So first, when I key on the bike, you're gonna see it flash green. That's actually a battery voltage monitor letting you know that your battery is healthy. And now we can see from the blue halo that we're looking at the light set one or the blue circuit and we have it currently set to 15 percent we can dial it up or down to set the intensity of our main lights we can do a press and hold to turn those lights off or a single press to turn those lights back on now because we hooked up the high beam trigger and turn signal triggers what that's going to allow the lights to do is jump to 
full intensity with your factory high beam switch, regardless of what you have them set to on the low intensity. And it will also allow them to cancel with your factory turn signal. And that's extra useful in a situation like this where the lights are mounted very close to the factory turn signal. Now there's a whole bunch of other features that our dialed in controller can do. One quick example is if I double click, now I'm now switching to the green circuit and controlling the green circuit. So if we had lights installed on that circuit, that's how you switch back and forth to con independently controlling two different sets of lights. We also have the ability to set electronic fuse values for each circuit right from the switch. So definitely check out our dial dim video if you wanna see more details on exactly how all of these features work. So let's swing around to the front of the bike real quick so we can take a look at these features in action. So we're gonna go ahead and flick on the factory high beam and you're gonna see the lights jump to high beam with the factory lights. And if you turn on your turn signal, you're gonna see that that light is canceling with the turn signal because we've plug and played into the factory turn signal circuit. Now, if you don't want that feature, you simply don't connect that portion of the harness. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. As you can see, it really is that simple to get some of the most premium lighting and lighting controllers installed on your KLR650. Definitely subscribe if you guys wanna see more content on this vehicle or any others and we will be putting links in the description to all of the products that were featured in this video. So until then, ride safe and we'll see you soon.